What's going on guys? Welcome to Dreamnoids. I'm Christian. And I'm Joey. And it's been a while since we've done an unboxing video, but we have a very special video for today. Want to tell us what we got here, Joey? Today, uh, we have an amplifier we have been waiting for for quite some time. It was said to be out spring 2020. It's now early summer 2020. And it's the Riga IO. That's right, guys. The Riga IO. I believe this is going to be... Actually, no. This is the first Riga IO in the USA. We have not looked at it. We've been waiting for it for a very long time. And uh, we think this is going to be a game changer. And I decided to bust out my, my Riga T. Yeah, they sent yeah. us uh, some Riga swag. And so we were super excited. Got to get that. Um, this amp falls as the entry level Riga amplifier. And so this is actually part of a system that they're coming out with. They're gonna be coming out with the Riga One, which we were really excited about, um, obviously because of the pandemic and things going on. We haven't been able to get our hands on one, but consolation prize is the IO. And so uh, the Riga One system is gonna be a P1, which we already have a P1. Um, the Riga IO, and they're gonna be coming out with these Riga kites. And, and that should be... And, we're, and you already know, as soon as we get them. Yeah, as soon as they're in the States, they'll be coming our way. Like we said, we got this amplifier first, and um, this is, it falls in at $550. So, so right, it's, up, right up the bat, you get your, your little manual here. And look at that. This is probably one of the smaller Riga boxes we've ever done. Oh, it's the smallest Riga box we've ever had. And, um, as you can see, it has a standard power uh, plug, IEC cable. There's this cute little foam insert for a Riga remote. You gotta appreciate that packaging. That you can see right here. And um, this is cool. So uh, it's gonna be its own custom remote. And um, it falls somewhere, in terms of size, it falls somewhere between their oh. original remote and um, or like their that. current original. I like remote that. Yeah, mo and a full size remote. If you're if you're not a stranger to Riga, a lot of their uh, a lot of their remotes are the same. Yeah, but this is pretty cool. So it's yeah, it's a remote. totally new remote. But here it is, man. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, dude, that's like a like a miniature amplifier. Let me hold this up to make sure they get a good, real good look at that. Look at that, guys. This is very tiny for Riga, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. It's um. Actually, I know this is kind of unconventional, but if it's okay, I'm gonna go get the Brio and bring yeah, it over yeah, here yeah, so that we can that. show what So what we'll do, I'll is. pull out this little sticker here. We don't like to have that on there. But yeah, first thing first thing you're gonna notice is it does have that, it's, it's almost like a Brio in terms of form factor, but it's significantly smaller and lighter, but it definitely yeah. still has some weight to it. So, so it feels really high quality. So Whoa. just, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's uh, I figured this would be a, a, a quest, first question people are going to have is, what's the size comparison to the Brio? And so, whoa, this is not light. Com I mean, comparatively, this yeah, is heavier, but say, it still has this is solid. To it. It's still pretty. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like, a lot lighter. I thought it was going to be a lot lighter. So too. you can see it's about three quarters, maybe two thirds the size of a Brio, but I mean, it is solid. And uh, let's go ahead and turn around real quick. And just kind of show you. I mean, they they both have. Hold them up a little bit. You have very similar resources in terms of the connections in the back and the front. So if we rotate this around, you'll know. I mean, this is like a mini Brio. It really is. It's it's got the volume pot. It's got uh, the selector switch. This is the selector switch, and then we've got our my our headphone. Now this is a quarter inch. That's going to be a 3.5 millimeter or eighth inch. And then power buttons again. And I, and I know that it does share so some of the internals. Of it does share some of the internals with the Brio, uh, but this thing is uh, made to run at you know uh, 30 watts a channel. Right. And right. the uh, Brio, I believe, is around 50. Right. So and right off the bat, it's real simple. It's just real clean. It's just your starter hi-fi. Mm -hmm. You know, you got your two uh, yeah, binding you, posts. You got outputs. What, you got your phono uh -huh. and two well, line and, level inputs. Oh, that's cool. So you got your phono included. Yeah. So you wouldn't need, okay, and then you got two inputs. So for 550, you know, you got to remember the, the Brio sells for 995. For 550, you're going to have a phono, which a Riga phono is uh, 395, a moving magnet. Right. The Riga uh, mini phono 
is 175. So I mean, just having a Riga phono section and an integrated amplifier and, a, and headphone jack and headphone jack for 550 is amazing. Now, uh, something I want to emphasize is that what's also really cool about this that is just I love at I heart is I mean this is made in just in England exactly with everything yeah. else yeah this is not some other product that they're having made in China or something like that a lot, a lot of brands like their high-end stuff will be like made I mean in we even UK. carry some stuff like that yeah so and it's, it's just okay. cool I mean it's okay but it's like it's just so cool that Riga deep you know dug down this is why we're Riga fans that we I had some the, some videos that we've put out and some people ask us like you know why why do you just carry Riga why don't you have com competition to it and I said well you know we don't mind having some competition we actually do carry music hall as well but um, I mean we're really big fans of Riga because this is made all under one house one, one of the things I'll say is like for someone who has a Brio they're like oh man did did I get did, should I have bought, waited for this no I don't think so because even though that this is impressive this I love the form factor. I love the weight. I love everything about it. I even like the black because it has a bl it's got black opposed to the right. the, the, the silver. silver. But right off the bat, Joe, you could tell that this is it feels yeah, it's a different pot. It, it feels a little more mechanical, yeah. which is expected. I mean, at that price it's point, half, it's half the price. So just so you it's, know, for you Brio right. owners out there, there there is a oh yeah, it's a big there's jump. a jump. There's a big jump from the IO to the Brio. But I think Riga knew that, and they're trying well, to hit a different market with it's, this. It's like I get a lot of uh, I, I get a lot of questions about the P6 and the Ania Pro. A lot of people ask me, you know, the P6 and Ania Pro. That's a really great, you know, turntable. How does it compare to the P8? And I and I tell them I'm like, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. It but doesn't. Yeah. The P the P6 with Ania Pro is a stunning turntable. That as long as you don't listen to a P8 in your same system, you're gonna enjoy that thing, and it's gonna sound like. So people that come over, they're just going to be blown away. They're going to think that's just the most amazing hi-fi ever. So, you know, when that's what's amazing about selling Riga is that like even their smallest stuff is going to have an awe to it when you listen to it. And I like and I and I really like this remote. Believe it or not, I got I got a little bit bigger of hand, so this this remote kind of has a more yeah a, a little a little chunkier feel. So I, I like I like the big buttons. You know, I'm, I don't I'm always messing it up, but yeah. But this is a really cool amp. I think that this is. The amp that if you're looking to get started with the high end audio, boom. Right we already there. have customers that have earmarked wanting them. Um, I have a, a, a past customer that has original Riga kites that we're going to be putting this with. Uh, just all kinds of and, cool and, small and systems that people want to want to have a Riga. I mean, people have wanted to have a, a small Riga amp forever. Well, we're like, excited to see how they pair with these over here. Yeah, pull that up over here. Yeah, we're, we're excited to see. We, you know, we have a lot of smaller speakers. You know, we, these are our fine audio F300s, you know, until we get the kites, obviously. Yeah. But even these, we even think with these... the kites, these are going to start at 295. So if you're looking for a system to just get started for 800, what is it? It'd be like eight hundred and fifty dollars. You can have. You can't beat it, guys. I mean, this is <laughs> this for eight hundred and fifty dollars. You're like, whoa! You're already ahead of the game, farther yeah. ahead of the game than I ever was at that price. Yeah. So. So we're 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 really really excited to have this amplifier. As you can tell, we're gonna put it through its paces. We're gonna listen to it. We're gonna hook it up to these. We're gonna hook it up to the RX ones. When the kites come in, and probably. Three to six months from now, we'll do a follow-up video with this. Yeah, we'll be following up, giving and our opinions, and uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna de definitely test them, see what their peak is, mm -hmm. and you know where they're most happy. But uh, guys, really appreciate all the comments and the new subscribers. Keep yeah. keep them coming, and we like responding. Yeah, to ask Joe. us questions. You know, uh, Joe Joey's in there. We're getting to him as fast as we can, and uh, let us know what you want to see. Yeah. We so. have a lot of videos lined up. We've actually already shot some. Yeah. Too that are coming out and. Uh, it's really cool because a lot of y'all ask questions and we're like, what about this? And I'm like, it's coming. It's coming, So just guys. stay tuned. Anyway, guys, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you so much. Stay tuned for the next video. Y'all have a great day.